Good morning. Happy Wednesday. So, I'll wait till a couple people come on here before I start chatting too much. Hi, Rosemary. Hi, Alive Design Company. Hi, Trisha. Good morning, everybody. Yep, we're back around to Wednesday again. It goes by in like five seconds. Hi, Julie. Hi, Amy. Good morning, Ellen. What else do I see in here? Celeste, good morning, Martha. So I sent all, now the pictures that I sent that I could have painted last week, I think, and this week, I need to just store away because I have so many to choose from now. Hi, Rosemary. Hi, Ellen. Hi, Susan. Hi, Janice. But um, Emily called me last night and reminded me that it's um, Halloween. And when she said that to me, I thought she meant that she wanted me to dress up this morning. And I could not. I said, well, maybe. I just got my hair done. Hi, Bill. And I'm going to be like a dress for the 60s in a costume that I've had for Halloween. But my when I got my hair done yesterday, my friend Donna flipped my hair up so that it looked like the 60s. But it all fell out nor did I have all the things to do it yet. So she said she didn't mean that she wanted me to dress up. Hi, Gail. She um, said I should paint something that is um, for Halloween. So I'll show you what I'm going to do. And then I'll save those other ones and do them another time. But this is an oldie but goodie. I painted this a long time ago and I love, I got this light here. I thought I had this light right in front of me. It'll be nice and bright, but doesn't work if it's casting a light in what you're looking at. So I'm going to do candy corn this morning. Hi, Laura. Is that in that? It's still in the... Someday I'll figure out how to do lighting. But probably not this month. Okay. There we go. I think that's good. So how fun is that? And I'm going to try and keep it real fun and spontaneous like I've been doing. That's been my goal. Um... And I go two steps far, one step back. I keep saying I ought to just, just to get it out of my system, do a really, really, really super realistic tight painting and then maybe I'll move on from, from like leaning back in that direction. A golden oldie of corn, I know, Ellen. I was even going to change, get new corn and rechange change the layout, but that, I didn't have time. We still haven't even decorated for Halloween yet. It's supposed to rain here on Friday anyway, but um, my husband always gets out all of the stuff, which is um, crazy, but um, to think here a little bit. I'm going to use the big brush to keep it loose too. How are you, Anita? Hi, Joy. How are you feeling? Hi, Katrina. Um, golden oldie. Good. I had trouble sleeping last night, and then I didn't want to get up this morning, but um, of course I couldn't miss this. Plus, I never really wouldn't get up. I mean, that would never happen. I'm trying to decide if I think, what should I do with that red? I think I'm going to add, <clears throat> what do I have? I have a permanent matter deep. Well, what do I want to add in? I'm trying to think what I want to add in is my base color underneath this orange. I'm going to put orange on top of it. So I don't think it's a big deal. I'm just going to use a little permanent rose in there just to make it fun. That worked, right? Just like that. It looks like candy corn. Yeah, we haven't gotten Halloween candy or anything yet. Although it's supposed to rain here on Friday. I think I might have already said that. I don't know. So I don't know how much we need to get because it's always that mixed thing that if you buy too much Halloween candy then you eat the candy and that is not good because I love chocolate so for the most part we try to buy more um like of like the um 
Starburst or Skittles, like those kind of candy things, because I don't like them. That doesn't even tempt me. So what's your favorite kind of Halloween candy? That's a fun question for today. Mine is definitely anything chocolate. They already look fun, don't they? Good morning, Donna. What'd you decide for your kitchen, Donna? Gray cabinets or white? Aren't they coming today? <clears throat> I know. You're about the only person I know who loves candy corn, Donna. Allie's a chocolate lover, too. Oh, mounds are good. Oh, Butterfingers. Snickers. Candy corn for Halloween, of course. Ellen, do you like candy corn, too? Yeah, my cousin Donna loves candy corn. Candy corn, a lot of candy corn lovers. Hi, Judy. Isn't Halloween on Sunday? Yes, maybe it is. I have no idea when it is. Yes, it is on Sunday, but in our town, <clears throat> trick or treat is um, always the um, a weekday. So we do trick or treat on Friday night here. So we have to be ready for that. And then I have a party on Saturday to go to. My um, friend, best friend from high school loves Halloween. So she always has a, a big Halloween party. It's always fun. Chocolate and candy corn and any candy. <laughs> yes. Any candy is good candy, right? There's no... No bad answer here. I think one of my very favorite candies, which is such a random thing, is I love um, Goldberg Peanut Chews. Have you heard of those? Oh, Allie, my costume. I'm going to be a, a 60s. I have a 60s dress and white go-go boots, and I'm going to flip my hair up. I need to go get, like, pink lipstick. and It's a pretty low-maintenance costume, but it'll be fun. I've worn it before. We have a like a box of costumes at our house, and so does my friend who has the party. Sometimes I'll go to her house and um, find a costume to wear. I'm making this blue. I thought about this in the middle of the night when I couldn't sleep, that I wanted to see what would happen if I used this unexpected, because it's kind of a weird milky color, but I want to have blue shine through underneath there. If, you know, sometimes it goes away. Sometimes it doesn't. I think maybe I'll do the background in that crazy blue too. Or should I do the black? Let's do background purple. What do you think? Let's see what shines through. I keep getting red on my brush here. So I was working on ornaments this morning. I'm way behind on getting things ready for holidays. I was, do you love peanut shoes too? Yeah, they're so good. Oh, and Mary Jane's. Peanut Chews and Mary Jane's. My father-in-law loved Mary Jane's and um, Bit of Honey's. Should we go? Trisha says purple. Yeah, let's do purple in the background. Be a little crazy. Why not, right? We got nothing to lose. You can make a full mess. Hi, Sarah. Too dark. I don't want that dark, I don't think. Oh, why not? could just be totally crazy with it. The whole thing. I'm going to do some blue too. It's fun to like just take it in a whole weird direction and see how it pulls back together. I think I was a little too reserved with my what I was doing here with the Actual candy corn, but that's okay. Just have to go with intuition. That's always the hardest thing. Green. You think I need to put green in there? I put some green in there. Why not? Mia wants to go to Miss Kim's house. Mia wants to come here while I'm painting. That would be far more fun than visiting me while I'm working. Right? Mia can come visit me anytime. Some more green. I'm gonna get my um my like transparent ish green. Here it is. All right. 
<laughs> we were just talking about, for anybody who's just joining, what our favorite Halloween candy is. Your RNF sticks will jazz up the corn. There you go, Ellen. You're right. They will. And I actually got out a couple different colors that they don't usually use. That is a mess, right? Especially since I was thinking of a light background. Let me rub a little bit that out of the way. Close up my stuff, my uh, base coat. I got an Indian yellow one out. I have to clean it off because I'm sure I haven't used it yet it's completely. So you have to peel the a little bit of the. It's sometimes I don't like when these pigment sticks are so soft that they feel like um, jello kind of. All right, enough of that. Let me put some pink in here too. Beach bum, what a fun name! I have to clean that. This one's got the film on it too. I might have pulled this out of the drawer. I don't know. Be fun to paint candy corn <clears throat> colors that it never is. Oops, I just had a pigment stick roll into my paints. That's a mess. Emily said, <clears throat> bought Halloween candy for trick-or-treat, and Brandon keeps eating it all. <coughs> you know that happens around here, Emily. I was, did you, were you on here when I said, I don't want to get too much candy, because if it's chocolate, I'll eat it all. I don't have willpower. I think probably my very favorite candy, which you'd never get at trick-or-treat, is, um, um, I love Trader Joe's peanut butter cups, dark chocolate. Oh my goodness, they're good. I think that's right now, hands down, my favorite um, candy. What else do I need to do here? I need to, where's the whites? I'm going to use my little, this little. letting it be a complete mess of course no painting would be complete without just a smidge of this color that I love I hear the geese flying south um do I need anything else Am I missing anything? That looks like a complete mess, right? Yes, it is oil stick. <clears throat> it's called RNF. Well, it's called RNF pigment sticks. That's what that little label looks like. They just add a little element of fun. Oh, I didn't use yellow, did I? Did I use the yellow? Maybe I did. I might have it on too thick. I might have to have a journey to tone it down. I don't know. <laughs> no, that's not helping anything. All right, that looks fun, right? All right, so we'll go down here and mix some colors. Of course, I need yellow, orange, white, shadow, and I don't know if we'll do the background white or light purple. I know, it's fun like this. I do love the spontaneous part. Uh, Jeannie, I use, it's called um, Arches Oil Paper. I've been keeping my pigment sticks here beside me because the other day, oh my gosh, I was doing, I don't know if any of you were on here with me. I was doing my live for, for my, um, my art and bloom course each week. Um, the course is live right now. And after each module is released, I do a live, um, like an extra little lesson and a Q and a each week. And last week I did my Q&A. I mean, honestly, I shouldn't even tell you guys this. I do like the stupidest things, but in the middle of setting it up, I was trying to get my phone up above and be filming 
straight ahead with my laptop, of which I got a new one. It's not here yet, but I got a new laptop, so that should help everything. Well, anyway, in the middle of it all, I I had tea here in front of me in my in my little Yeti, and I knocked it over. But I had so much going on that I completely didn't realize it until I heard a dripping sound. I was like, shoot. I looked over. It was everywhere, all over my paints, my paintbrushes, dripping on the floor. I... It took me forever to clean it all, <laughs> forever. And, oh my gosh, what a mess. Um, just I just do the stupidest things. Um, so what was my point? Oh, so I had to redo my whole like desktop here. I had to put new paper down. So I'm all cleaned up now. So I really don't want to um, put all my pigment sticks over here on top of my clean white paper yet. <laughs> because it looks nice. So well, thank you, Jeannie. Ugh. And then after all of it, like it was just the whole thing was a debacle. It was one of those things that I persevere through everything. It's just how I go. And it never occurred to me to just say, you know what, this is not a good day. Let's do this. Oh, part of inspiring. Oh, you know what? I need to open up inspiring collect art the my my inspiring art collective um, for enrollment again. I'm going to do that at the beginning of November. If anybody wants to do that with me, um, <clears throat> so you know I have terrible time finishing my thoughts. Um, so I have no idea what I was talking about. Darn it. And that made me think about Inspiring Art Collective. Oh, at the end of the whole thing, you know, I made this whole mess um, in the middle of it. It was just crazy. I mean, if I, I didn't even watch it back. I just loaded it up into the learning platform and let it go because I knew if I watched it, I would feel like I have to film the whole thing again. <laughs> didn't have time. The very end of it, I was filming from above. And right as I finished, my phone fell flat right into my paints onto my painting into my paints like it was crazy and then I was like yeah I'm glad I'm finished because it was crazy oh yeah so we do have an inspiring art collective on Friday at 11 this week I have to make it a newsletter about that for any of you guys who are in my group we're gonna do I think acrylic floral Painting. So I'll send a reference image and um, and something else. I don't know what else. Oh, let you know what size panel to have. Or I'm going to do it on paper, on Bristol paper. Sometimes I do think I am thinking about too many things at once. Okay, that's good. Orange. I need red. It gives me a good story now. Yeah, it sure does, Allie. Oh my goodness. Sometimes I don't know how I make it through the day. Oh, now I need yellow. I keep thinking that they're red, orange, and yellow, but they're yellow, orange, and white. So I need yeah, I need I need more of this yellow. Cadmium lemon. <laughs> oh, I know the behind the scenes of stuff is just so crazy. I do all these too many things sometimes. I just do too many things. So I need to desaturate this yellow a little bit. Um, I don't want it so bright completely. So I'm going to put the opposite of yellow is blue. I'm going to put this cool blue in it just a little bit. And I need maybe a little bit with a little bit of the in it for the reflective area. Oh, and I need a shadow color also. Yeah, they're all nice colors. So I need a lighter yellow, a shadow color, and then what I'm going to do with that background. I sure did make a mess there. I need more white. I got a new white, and I do like it quite a bit. I keep experimenting with different whites because they're often too thick and chalky. Yellow purple. 
Judy for the background. So I like this white. It's a Rembrandt titanium white. It's pretty creamy. I guess I'm going to need more white for the background. I'll just keep it here. You know I'm going to put this away and then in five minutes I'll be saying, I don't know why I took my white paint. Never heard me say that before. I might need a sip of my coffee too. So I'm going to put a big blob of that down, maybe a little more. Um, so I mostly want it. Maybe I'll use a little bit of this um, bluish purple in there to make like a background color to use and see how it works. That's nice. I want it mostly white. I could always make a little more of that. So I think that's a nice palette to start with. Oh, I didn't make a shadow color. I knew I was missing something. I felt like it's all so light, but so is the image. <clears throat> so I want to pay attention a little bit to um, having the image not be quite as monochromatic. Oh, I don't know. It's fine the way it is, right? Don't overthink things. Kind of let the magic just happen. I forget that too. I say it all the time, but I don't um, always listen to myself. Put a little orange in there. I feel like the reflection of the actual candy corn is in that shadow a little. It looks pretty good. All right. Oh, I got a new I got a new palette knife too. This is a Trakel palette knife. This is the one I usually use. It's a little bit larger. And look how clean it is. I love that. Let's see if I can keep it that way, right? That's always the trick. <clears throat> okay. Go back up here. I'm gonna move my coffee out of the way or I'll be knocking that over. All right, how's that? Try desaturating the yellow with purple to tie in the background. All right, I will try that, Judy. That's a good idea. All right, that's good. Oh, Judy, you have to let me know what happened with that cash, that check issue you had. You have to call me later or email me. I'm ha Ethiopia. That's what I'm having too, Ellen. Fat cow Ethiopia. Cheers. <clears throat> That's my fave. <clears throat> so my friend Martha has fat cow coffee <clears throat> and Ellen and I are both having that this morning. You have to follow them here on Instagram. <coughs> Martha, you think you'll be able to come to the Halloween party? <clears throat> so I want to let them, I want to allow them, let them, like, kind of stay spontaneous like this if I can. So I need to concentrate on that because I so easily will forget along the way. I don't know if I should put in some background first. Hi, Maria Nitchie. Do I know you? <clears throat> My niece is Nitchie, Aaron Nitchie. I don't think too many people have that name. Hi, Mary Eileen. How are you? Hi, my work art. Hi, Sandra.
Bible's over here closer to me. A new granddaughter. Oh, isn't that exciting? What's her name? That is so fun. I like to leave it. I love that brush texture too. <clears throat> Eloise, Margaret. Oh, I love that. What a beautiful name, Eloise. Very fun. Does she live near you, Mary Eileen? Will you get to see her a lot? I can't remember where you live. I know you had to fly here for my course, but I can't remember where you flew from, like Colorado maybe? <clears throat> I think I need a little bit more white out here. That looks like a whole mess, doesn't it? I love it. Love the messy. Love embracing the mess. And not getting too caught up in things looking a certain way and letting it happen kind of organically. Whatever will happen. It's so hard to do important. I always say that everything that I think of, think about, like it applies usually to life and to art at the same time. Embracing the messy middle because they'll never end. You'll always have them. <clears throat> you can't get to where you're going if you don't get through it. She's in Bozeman, Montana. Will be We'll have a home. Th oh, and here in Charleston. Oh, isn't that wonderful, Mary Eileen? That's perfect. I agree on the Grumbacher. I was surprised how creamy it was compared to my former brand. Yeah, it really is a nice creamy texture. And that's what I always want with white paints. Like I don't want my white to like be feeling like I'm scrubbing it. <clears throat> I think that background might be a little too wild, but... At least I have kind of a base in there, and I can work on that later. It is only 8.30. I don't have to hurry. It's better a little smoothed out, maybe. Like I like the texture of the strokes, but it's almost too many of them. Oh, my crazy color with green in the background, too. <clears throat> All right, you can go back and work on that later. I'm going to use a little smaller brush. <clears throat> you work with acrylic. I This is oil paint. I've been playing around with acrylic, but oil paint is my comfort zone right now. But I do enjoy both. Whoops. <clears throat> All right, I need a sip of coffee. What's everybody having, coffee or tea? Will you still add video blue pale to the background? I might do that, Ellen, because that might make it a little more cohesive in the end. Let's see how it looks. <clears throat> Just a little, little piece of, sometimes the RNF pigment sticks, I get like a little, like a crumb in there. It comes off the stick, and I have to clean that off. <clears throat> mm. 
Oh, Dura, are you using any medium or just, it's just, I use medium in my very first layer and then this is just straight oil paint. And this I'm painting on Arches oil paper. Oh, thank you, Ellen. Thank you. You know, I get kind of lost in what I'm doing and forget to see if, because it doesn't keep scrolling for me. Sometimes I have to make sure it does. Oh, Emily wanted me to ask you guys for ideas. I think she's thinking about maybe eloping. She got engaged a few weeks ago, a few months ago. And is thinking about eloping. And she said, ask your friends if they have any good ideas of cool places to elope that would be beautiful for pictures, um, fun, I mean, I would get to go. It's like an elopement of just family and then do a party um, and invite everybody more to a party but not do all the things. She doesn't want to do like the rehearsal dinner and the shower. She already has her stuff kind of. <clears throat> um, hanging down there. Hawaii or Mexico, that sounds so fun. Well, part of the problem is that she has a dog that she's completely smitten with, and I don't think she'd leave long enough to do that. Her pup. <clears throat> but that sounds amazing. Yeah, Emily, are you on here? How far do you want to go? It's a really good place to start because she sees cool pictures like in Colorado would be fun. I think I need orange down here. Um, I'm making sure I didn't miss any questions. Of course, Alan's got my back if I do. <laughs> I don't need to worry so much about that. <clears throat> I think I need more yellow. That is the hard thing about the RNF pigment sticks. I get these little crumbs. There's one. Sometimes I don't worry about them, but <clears throat> tree houses. Ooh, that sounds like fun. That's a unique idea. Where am I? Oh, you're at the slightest yellow, too. <clears throat> Search Airbnb for some, yeah, that's a good idea. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, mom and dad's backyard, yes. <laughs> <clears throat> Actually, my friend Karen offered her backyard and it was gorgeous. Her um, daughter got married there and it was beautiful. We could do the party there. It's hard doing weddings, you know, during COVID because you can make all those plans and be all ready to go and then have it get canceled. <clears throat> it's an awful lot of work to have that happen, you know. A 
High Point Treehouse in Ladonia, Texas is cool. Oh, I've never been to Texas. So since my <clears throat> candy corn's so busy looking, <coughs> I do think I should make the background a little less busy because it's almost competing. You don't know, your eyes don't know if they want to look at the corn, candy corn or explore the background or just not look at all because it's exhausting. Sometimes I have trouble with that. Like you're, you know, it's good to like look at your painting and think about the journey of the viewer and think about you know what they look at first second and third I'm much better at doing that with a layout than I am with a painting like I always had to do that for graphic design you have to think about the journey of when someone's looking at something but I don't know I find it more challenging with with a painting I always want to get married at a farm sanctuary but my mom, oh really and it would be so in style now Allie right it would be so in to do that and of course you did. I mean, that would have been perfect for you. I like that texture. I love the texture of it. Um, so I think I need to make my background a little more neutral. Uh, maybe I will do the video blue extra pale and a bigger, larger brush. I always say bigger, but it's really larger, isn't it? I don't know which is the correct word. I think about that too often sometimes. And this was over 20 years ago before it was hip. Yes, absolutely. Um, I'm seeing that um, I need to have a little darker definition on this side of this. And I really need to be able to pull out this. Okay, I'm going to try some video blue extra pale in the background. And try and quiet it down a little bit. I find that the more simplistic objects are the more difficult to paint. Yes, I agree. And, and things that look easy to paint aren't. Yeah, because you really have to like the simplicity is. Whoops, I didn't mean to put white there. That's what I was doing. Like, and then that picks up too much of that texture. I think I need a bigger brush and I need to be a little more committed here. <clears throat> I was following a giraffe at Texas Safari Ranch. They say they have weddings there. Oh, isn't that cool? You were following a giraffe. That's so cool. I wonder if they'd let you paint pictures of it. That'd be fun to paint a giraffe. I find that to be like the hardest thing about art is that you're supposed to paint either from real life. I mean, and who's out seeing giraffes? Or, um, you know, have permission to paint images that people have taken the photo of. But it's like, I want to paint so many things and I don't have time to do all the photography too. I mean, I know there are some websites that, you know, you can get photos from to paint from. And I do that like with the birds. But they're never quite what I want. I think I just need to perfect my photography abilities a little more. Nita says, Bellhurst Castle in Geneva, New York is a beautiful place. Oh, 
It's on a lake. I've never heard of that. I know a couple who got married in a cave. Wow. Did I bet they had it all did they have candles in it or was it all natural like caveness? That would be wild. I think I might have gone too overboard with the wild background, but toning it down seems to be happening a little bit. I think. Electrical lighting. That's cool. Yeah, there would be no rain out worries of the cave, that's for sure. Worries of bad weather. So what do we think? Was I crazy doing this this way? I don't know. Something about it that I love and something about I'm not sure of. So what is? what are those things and can I fix them? Maybe it's defining them a little more, letting a little of the texture happen. It was named a cave without a name. <laughs> That's so funny. There you go, Emily, you have it in the cave. I don't even know if she's here listening to this. Ems, are you still here? It's like candy. Oh, good. I'm glad you like it, because I don't know. It's a little crazy. But maybe the background's okay. Maybe I just need to think about defining my shapes a little bit more. No, I do. I like the little bit of texture. Um, this, I think, needs to be white right there. <clears throat> oh, good. Emily's still here. Yay. Cool. K-E-W-L. That's so fun. Okay. Okay. Everybody likes the background, so I'm going to stop fussing with it. Uh, what else do I need to do? I think I need... Um... A couple highlights. anything else I'm missing anything else I need to do I want it to look painterly and fun um, oh I do see two things here let me know if you see anything I need to adjust um, <clears throat> whoops this needs to be a little more defined I think I think I need a smaller brush. I can't get I can't get past my phone on the right. This white right here gets lost. Yeah, and this too. I think I need to do these too. Maybe I need to. It's um. 
the background is actually lighter than the candy corn right here. Something I don't do that I always want to try is to like paint to a certain point like this point and then not look at the reference image anymore and just paint what I feel like painting and not think so much about what I'm what it it is you know what I mean ay, ay, ay. this is actually darker so I should maybe make this a little lighter out here Yep, now I'm fussing. I'm doing that fussing thing. Okay, so I'm going to sign it and I'm going to see what it looks like peeling the paper off because I think that'll look cool. Adventurous, yes. <laughs> I am adventurous. Only, yeah, I love the painterliness of it. I Now I just need to figure out how to do this big still have not quite figured out how to get this really loose style big but pushing the envelope doing little ones and just practicing now I like how it has <clears throat> like that crazy dark background um shows through the edge there so that's super fun there's my reference painting get that a little closer fun textures and stuff and then with my palette I'm more white going on I hardly used any of the other colors I guess I really didn't need all that much let me turn this around so thanks for coming and hanging out with me this morning I'm telling you this is the fastest hour of my day it goes by so quickly um, hanging out with you guys. So is there anything I needed to tell you? I don't think so. So you know where I am if you have any questions. And I will open up like an inspiring art collective um, in November. And I hope you guys have a wonderful Halloween. Um, and if you paint anything Halloween, I'd love to see it. So thanks for coming and hanging out with me today. Thank you, Ellen. Thank you. So have fun. I'll see you soon. And I'll save this. I'll save this. And it, oh, that's the other thing I want to say. It'll be on my YouTube channel. And if you get a chance, go there and watch it and like it. I mean, you already saw it, but I need it to, you know, have that. It'll be my YouTube. It'll be on my website. And Allie, no, I didn't quite finish it. I have another one that I'm starting. Um, I kind of got caught. I didn't have as much time last weekend because I had to take some paintings to a gallery when I thought I was going to have time to paint. So I moved it out of the way and I'm prepping a different panel because I can do that during the week. And then hopefully this weekend I'll finish it up and maybe it'll be back here again next Wednesday. So yes, have a great weekend. Thanks you guys. Bye.